Hi, you recently wrote a really beautiful message to Kalani on Instagram. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, what spurred that decision? Uh, well, just uh, really protecting a close friend of mine, um, you know, understanding kind of where that's transformed into now. You know, she's an incredible person, and I don't want everyone to see anyone um, kind of do anything harmful in her way. I heard, you know, from her and other people that people are coming to her shows and doing just really obnoxious thing, and I don't ever want to see anyone go through it, especially a female like that. And, uh, you know, she's just incredibly special. I want the focus to be on her and her, her career, and that's it. Why do you feel like it's so important for men to advocate for women? Uh, you know, I think that the idea of just inclusion is just kind of like it shouldn't just necessarily be an idea. It should be a, a lifestyle no matter what, um, you know, sexuality, gender, race. It should all be equality at the end of the day. And, um, you know, it's part of my responsibility to really be one of those generational leaders, to be an advocate for that. Um, you know, I just I'm, I'm for love, peace and harmony. And, and I really want to see the world be a better place. And if I could do anything to change that and uh, affect that, then I'm going to do it. Have you heard from Kalani? Does she text you? Is she call you? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, okay. we were together that day. So it was, oh. yeah, it was cool. Yeah. <laughs> We had to make sure that we told everybody we're not dating and make sure that because everyone's going to be like, no, but no, that's just an incredible close friend of mine. So, yeah.